debuts, Hall of Fame inductees. It's all shaping up for Road to WrestleMania, you guys. What a good Raw. I want to highlight some of these moments. I mean, after all, once you get new superstars added to the roster, that's something that we need to bring to your attention. Four. Well, actually, two. Two out of the four. They were. I think they were just there. I think DIY. Well, they're not DIY anymore. But I think they were just there to kind of help supplement the ratings for Raw. Because I can tell you this. This has got to be one of the best Raws in several months. So these two. These are the actual main two call-ups. Alistair Black and Prince Puma. Ricochet. Ricochet. That's This is what I have right now for uh, for Ricochet. But don't worry. We got some in the works. So stay tuned to the channel. You guys are going to love it. So match right here. Ricochet, his match was a tag team match. He had actually ended up teaming up with Finn Balor to take on Bobby Lashley. And the botched mania man that cost him the title. Look, that's the way I see it, man. Leo Rush, that's the reason why Lashley is no longer carrying that title. Get out of here. Even if it was a one-on-one -on -one match, I'm sure Finn Balor would have still won that title regardless. But it was a cool match, though, man. Like, these two, the combination of these two, they have a very similar style. You know, obviously, there's more kicks with Balor. But what I'm saying, like, that fast-paced method that they use, it was epic, man. Like, the combination, there was this move right towards the end where uh, Bobby Lashley, he was charging at Ricochet outside the ring. And as he was coming at him, he did, like, this backflip, right? He, like, landed right behind him. And Bobby Lashley thought, he's like, oh, where'd he go? And the next thing you know, Balor pops out of nowhere and gives him this drop kick, goes into the ring, and uh, Ricochet ends up pulling the win over Leo Rush. This is a good start. I mean, there's so many things that you can do right here with Ricochet. You can put him into so many different scenarios, tag team division, I see picture. You know, there's going to be some good moments that are going to develop from this. I'm just stoked to see as to where this is all going to go. My biggest concern is that they might ruin Aleister Black because over in NXT, this guy was doing it. He is so just interesting, man. His whole method, like uh, his match, it was actually against, and go figure, right? <laughs> oh, the guy that can never catch a break, Elias. That's who he had uh, gone up against. He had his music. He, uh, when are you going to finish a concert? That's my question, Elias. So, anyways, he had a little concert going on right here. And then Aleister Black showed up. And you know he was going to get the Black Mass. One, two, three. It was a, a pretty good victory right here for, you know, this is the thing. If, I, if you were to ask me where I would like to see him go right here in Raw, actually... I mean, if it was my choice, I would have preferred for him to go on SmackDown. And this is not like a for sure thing, you know, because keep in mind, come April, they are going to have that uh, that shakeup, which is the draft. I hope that he ends up in SmackDown. I, I don't want to see him in Raw, dude. I just don't. Look, he can have some good matches against Rollins. Sure, have him right now in the in the last couple of months that, that, that he has on the Raw roster. But once that's all said and done, you send him over to SmackDown. I think he would just truly, I see him in a better scenario over on SmackDown. Now, these two, like I said, they were just there to kind of help supplement the ratings. They took on the tag team champions right here, the Revival. And this goes to prove to you, man, just because you're over there in NXT doesn't mean that you don't mean anything. I mean, even Triple H said it himself. It is no longer called the de uh, developmental brand. Before, that's kind of what it was, right? You're an NXT superstar. You are technically in a de uh, developmental stage. It's not. It's actually, it's ranked now. It's ranked equivalent to SmackDown and Raw. But they picked up a big win right here over the tag team champions. Good match. I will say the Revival, they put up a fight. But when it comes to these two right here, man, I'm stoked to see as to where they're going to end up. I don't think they're going to stick around in NXT much longer. I'm sure 2019, they'll be called up uh, to the main roster. Yeah, I almost called it the main roster again. Now over here, you guys, check this out. These are our new, our first 2019 Hall of Fame inductees. We have all of Degeneration X, Triple H, Billy Gunn, X Pac, Road Dog, Shawn Michaels again. <laughs> yeah, he's been in. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to check uh, the the previous Hall of Fame, but I know Shawn Michaels. He's been inducted in the past, so I think the whole thing. The reason why that this has come to you know uh, to be the reason why they threw him into like a, a faction in the Hall of Fame. Is because of China. And I know some of you have been asking. You guys want to see the review. It's going to happen sooner than later. I already uh, did a video about a week or so. I just have to upload it on the channel. But we're not talking about that. I think the reason why they put it into a faction was because 
China, they, they don't want to do a like uh, individual inductee for her because of the stuff that has happened, you know, outside of WWE. She's got a lot of situations like stuff that WWE doesn't want to be tied with. So by them putting it all together like this, the way that they inducted them, I think that's the, the reason as to why they took this approach. Really good role, you guys. Give me your thoughts as to what you guys think of this induction. Who do you guys want to see inducted next? And what do you guys want to see to come about out of Aleister Black right here in Ricochet? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one.